time, Pat Simon. We did want to use this corn cob to drive home a point. There's not even a handful of kernels you can see on this cob. Now imagine a crop full of these. This cob came from one farm near Uncle Dulce, but it's the same all across the coastal bend. Patrick Johnstone reports on the bitter harvest area farmers are now facing. We'll be lucky if we uh, get enough out of it to break even. Scott Frazier says his field of corn and sorghum will yield about 25% of the healthy crop he had hoped for. You know, corn that should be making four, five, six thousand pounds out here. Uh, we'll be lucky if this makes a thousand pounds probably per acre. The coastal bend is lacking in rain. Western parts of Nueces County are four inches short of the average rainfall through May this year. You can see it didn't didn't pollinate well here. Doesn't look too good. And, and even if the area receives well, rain before harvesting begins, it should be like kind of like that, but about another four inches longer. It'd be too late. This corn's pretty well done. What it's going to do, and what we got is what we got. Uh, it won't. Uh, it won't come back this year. No. You could tell just by looking at the crops. This corn normally should be taller than I am, and consumers can anticipate feeling the impacts of this drought when they go to the grocery store later this year. And I do think. Uh, you know, some underprivileged folks in our area, as food prices soar, availability gets a little tighter. I, I do think you'll see some folks uh, missing some meals. And the farmers themselves hope they'll be okay. Yeah, they're still worth something, but they're not near what it should be. With a poor harvest. Just didn't, hopefully our, our crop insurance and that sort of thing will pick up enough of the slack to be able to, uh, to continue you know, producing. But it certainly could uh, cause somebody to be pushed out, no doubt. Reporting in Western Nueces County, Patrick Johnstone, Chris 6 News. Well, that farmer in Patrick's story had two special guests who were following him around today, two farmers from Poland. They are part of a group that's in Texas as part of Texas A&M's exchange program. They will spend a few weeks out here visiting different areas of the state to learn how farmers in Texas conduct their operations. And one of those farmers says she's interested to learn how farmers here are dealing with drought. And in Poland, we also have really dry season this year. I can see that plants are in not in a good shape. So I hope I will have the opportunity to like learn something and then implement it in my farm. They've already learned a couple of things. For example, the heat here is different from what they experience in Poland and sorghum and cotton are crops not typically found back at home.